It's time to bust the alpha. If you watch me destroy the Omega, you know this is going to consist of a 30 minute submersion in water, using the optic as a leverage point to rack it off of a post at least 50 times, dropping it directly on its hood from varying heights onto a big flat rock. We're going to alter our submersion testing just a little bit because it's been suggested to me that it would look cooler or more dramatic if we pulled the pistol directly out of the water and immediately fired it. So first, we're gonna take enough water with us to the range to fill this bucket. Then we'll load a five round magazine into our testing rig and chamber around before dropping it into the bucket. 30 minutes later, hopefully I'll find a really cool camera angle to film me pulling it directly out of the bucket and putting those five rounds on target. And then so that our unsupported manipulations and our rock drop testing are as Parallel to our original destruction tests and scientific. I'm gonna take this home, tear it apart, let everything dry out before I put it back together, and we head back out to begin banging it off of the pole. You ready? Let's go get wet. All right, guys, here's our water. Here's our pistol. Here's our magazine. See you in a half hour for the dramatic reveal. I'm not gonna lie to you. That first shot, I could not see the uh, the reticle at all. But uh, something I'd heard from other people did come true. So, because there was water on the emitter, but the first shot clears everything off of there. Um, yeah, not that enclosed emitters aren't cool. Uh, this does not surprise me. I was also shooting maybe a little beyond uh, my skill level. I was trying to shoot fast to make it. Hopefully look cool. Hopefully that slow-mo water flying off look cool, but uh, that's not too bad. And uh, again, because I pulled it directly out of the water, the emitter well was still covered. Um, but after that first shot, the reticle appeared crisp and clean, like it should. Uh, let's go to the bench, get this all taken apart, and let it dry out, and move on to the next phase. Banging it off a pole. So now's the part of our show where we use our Gideon Alpha as our point of leverage to rack this at least 50 times. And then we got two more things we have to do on our way up to the target, right? So unless there's significant movement in the dot after I do this, which I don't expect there to be. Uh, I'm going to spin the camera around and we're going to do two more things. Those of you that watch the Omega video know what's coming, but I did not mention them in the intro for this one. So let's go. At least 50.
probably more. Uh, yeah, I don't think our dot's moving. Our screws haven't loosened up. I guess that tests the, uh, the strength of our screws more than anything, doesn't it? All right, let me spin you around and we'll do a couple other things. Weapon is still clear. In fairness to the Omega, and because it's probably closer to what anyone's actually likely to do, uh, we owe Frisbee Toss to get us up to around our 10 where we're going to fire. So... Not gonna lie to you, I did not plan on hitting those rocks. That was a little more. Oh, where's our gun at? That was a little more than what we did oh, to our Omega. So we focus in. Oh, good. At least we didn't get too much mud in there. Well, now I just brushed some into the lens. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and now I'm gonna spin the camera again, set you up to see me. Live fire and do the one other thing we have to do. We're still clear. Let's get, take a quick peek at our targets oh, before we finish this off. Yeah, that's as good as I-5. Uh, See that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess I got to, uh, I'll get a couple pasters or a couple more circles and fix that up uh, before we bust some glass. Let's go. So in the Omega Destruction video, I used my one camera to be able to show you what height we were dropping it from. For this one, I'm gonna do something different. Uh, I'm gonna stay focused on this surface. So you'll see me disappear with it, and then you're gonna get to see the actual impact. Uh, we're gonna do three feet and then six feet. I expect some degree of glass fracturing at both levels. Tell me in the comments whether you prefer to see the height we're dropping it from or watch it impact this big flat probably harder than concrete uh rock which view do you prefer if we're only going to get one camera angle for this wild part where we bust our glass guys here we go three feet i'm going to try to drop this directly on the hood for maximum impact Let's see, see what we got. Pardon the mud, that's from before. Oh wow, did we not get, oh, sorry. Uh, we didn't break any glass. Maybe I should expect this to be tougher uh, than the Omega, right? Since the smaller glass um, with instead of a big round aluminum hood, I suppose, right, a big balloon, uh, this kind of more geometric you can see, yeah, I think it's right there. Right there, I believe, is our primary impact. Uh, our dot, yeah, it's still right where it was before. Hold on, let me look through it. Yeah, our dot's still where it is, isn't moving. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and shoot five more, even though it looks fine. Let's hit it real quick. So I can see from here, but I'll come show you. I know I pulled one. Uh, there's one that went all the way down to the left. Whoop. Beep. See, this little guy down here. That was completely my fault. 
All right, we'll paste the target. Now we'll drop it from six feet and do it again. Run it back. Let's go. Here we go from six feet. You guys are going to get the distinct pleasure of looking at my feet because I'm going to have to stand on the rock just behind this to hold this thing above my head and drop it. Ready? Whoops, I guess I gotta go chase it. Hey, it's all better for the science, right? Uh, let's see if we can figure out through the mud we've got now uh, exactly where that hit was. I think it was primarily on the other side of the hood. Uh, oh, there we go, yep. Here, let me see if I can focus you in. See, we got that top right corner. It's pretty shattered. So as a reminder, I expect glass to fly out here. Make sure you're wearing safety goggles if you're gonna put yourself in this kind of danger. Let's go, uh, yeah, let's go shoot it. Now, either I got way worse or uh, that glass shifted a little bit. Um, maybe it was the, I don't know if you could see it. Hopefully you caught it in the video. Uh, I felt some glass fly back and hit me. So I might've just been a little bit startled. Don't be startled. That's a Bush League move. Um, where are you at? Over here. So I can see these two where I was expecting this one, that fly is my fault, that fly is my fault. So, I don't know. I don't know if I can say that's worse. Um, or I can say that that's worse than our first two groups, but I don't know for sure that's the optics fault. Um, I think that's maybe just as much me. The dot was still where it belonged. Um, all right, fine. We'll drop it one more time. Bust some more of that glass out of there. One more. I'll do one. All right, one more. Six feet. I'll try to do a little kick save maybe this time. Keep it on the, on the rock. This should kill it. This should be the end. Really hope I was focused enough to get that on camera. Uh, I can see from six feet up. Yeah, we done. There we go. I got you focused at that distance. We done. Made a murder. Wait, do I still see a light in there? Um, no kidding. Okay. So I can only see. I can only see about half of my window, right? I don't know if you can tell, you can catch a reticle in the middle there. Uh, so at the risk of getting a little glass shower, oh, look at that. Look at that. We just caved that all the way in on that side with that second six foot shot. Looks like we struck it perfectly right over here and just folded him. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to shoot that. Uh, so I'm shooting with both my eyes open and I still have a reticle. I should be able to put that reticle on a target, right? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Five rounds, everybody knows the rules.
<laughs> Let's go see. Uh, we're gonna have to classify that as uh, still functional. Uh, I'm sorry guys, that was still usable and I actually shot a little faster that time. There we go. There's a good view. Uh, one, two, three, four. Where'd I put that first one? I don't know that any of those looks like double holes. Unless this little new cut in my uh, my cardboard box I use to hold these. Yeah, I think I put one over there. You can see versus these could be the same seam. I believe right through there. And therefore, right there. I didn't mention earlier, I was aiming for this dot. It was my, I guess, most complete circle that was kind of centered. I don't know. I uh, should have done a better job arranging those circles on there. But let's show you uh, what shape our optic is in now. Hopefully you saw some glass flying. So we'll, let's check, make sure we're clear. Down range. Yeah, there's a decent focus. So see if I can show you. You should be able to see that glass is still intact. Oh, I'm going to cut myself. See right up here above my finger, or rather, how about below my finger right here, right around where we believe that final point of impact was. Uh, we lost the glass right there. And you can see that over half of that window is obscured. But while my camera won't focus on the reticle, you can see it's still visible. And in the center, I was able to put the, those five on target. Come on, focus. Yeah, we pretty busted up. Sweet. But it's still usable. A three, two sixes, the Frisbee. Yeah, Gideon Alpha. Whoops. Thanks for joining me to, uh, to try to destroy uh, Gideon Alpha, which is still currently functional. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see me eventually uh, try to break everything in the Gideon Optics lineup. Uh, yeah, stay safe out there. And thanks again. Still use it.